They are poets, novelists, journalists. Writers from all over the world who've been in Manila for a major literary gathering over the past week. But one chair remains empty. One year ago today, Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi embassy in Istanbul was brutally assassinated. And he was assassinated because of his writing, because of his courageous, critical voice who was denouncing the tyranny. His loss is felt deeply here. Mexican poet Roberto Bautista reads verses about the killings often connected to the drugs war in her country. At least 11 Mexican journalists have been murdered this year. Tyranny has taken root, she says, and the world must not forget. Tami Lai Ming Ho writes about how political turmoil in Hong Kong has turned streets into a battleground. At this moment, an airplane is landing. The pilot makes the usual announcement before explaining to passengers about the peaceful processors at the airport. It's a message often repeated here. Writers from Uganda, Ukraine and Indonesia also read their prose, almost all with the same underlying theme. They say repressive regimes are tightening their grip over freedom of expression. It's no coincidence that the Penn Literary Congress, one of the largest annual gatherings of writers from all over the world, is being hosted for the first time in the Philippines, which has slipped further down the World Press Freedom Index during the rule of President Rodrigo Duterte. The journalists' rights groups Reporters Without Borders ranks the Philippines at 134th of 180 countries. We have allies in other countries. Uh, there was a very important question raised earlier uh, from, I think, someone from Norway who asked, among other things, so what else can we do to help you, uh, writers, artists, journalists in the Philippines? And I think that's the kind of question that has been raised in the other panels, in the other uh, discussions here at the 85th International Pen Congress. So there's, there's a real sense of solidarity. Despite the crackdown on freedom of expression, there remains a strong sense of defiance here. Writers tell us they will push back through literature, using words to fight tyranny. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.